Hi everyone, I am this Nataraj. I am back with another video. This time I am just going to show you how to authenticate into the Dynamics 365 Power Apps CDS uh, instance using certificates. So we all know, I think most of the people actually know about uh, authenticating using uh, username and password and uh, even um, uh, the client ID and uh, secret, client secret, but certificate is something that is not, I haven't seen many blog posts or videos about it. Uh, and I spent a considerable amount of time trying to understand this. So I will actually share what I know so far and I hope I'll, it'll be useful for you. So let's jump in into how to actually do this. So the first step will be in order to create a certificate, you need to actually create a certificate and store it in Key Vault. So in Azure portal, you can go into Key Vault and I'm going to add a new Key Vault. So I'm going to name this. I'm going to choose an existing resource, but you can create a new resource. But for the interest of time, I am going to use an existing one. Australia Southeast, I'm say certificate video that's a key vault name review and create and I'm gonna create it so now we started the deployment so I'll wait for this deployment to finish all right the deployment now is complete and now I am in the key vault the second step now you need to create a certificate so click on generate and import and this will be the certificate name certificate video give it some meaningful name uh, and now the subject so if you can see on this watermark it says you need to put in cn and then you go back say cn mydomain.com so i'd say cn i'm going to put uh, crm.crm6.dynamics.com and then the certificate is valid for 12 months it's going to be automatically renewed if it has got only um, 20 like 20 percent of time remaining so i'm just going to leave it as such i'm going to create a certificate now it's uh, provisioning the certificate. Okay, now the certificate has been created. Now it's a time to download the certificate. So click on certificate and then download in PFX PEM format. This is what you want, PFX PEM format. Save the certificate. Also save a copy of this CER format. I'm gonna save it. Now, the next step would be to actually add the certificate into your local machine. So in the first part, I'm going to show you how to actually use a certificate on a client and a client application uh, that you have on your machine. Um, so it could be a console application or it could be Linkpad. So how to actually get the certificate uh, working for authentication on this local client application. Now, now we have to install the certificate we just choose current user next next there's no password for the certificate next automatically place you don't want to automatically place place all the certificates on this following store on your personal store next finish now certificate is imported so after it's imported now let's let's go ahead and create a, a application user Let's go into Azure and then go into Azure Active Directory as earlier. Like in you know, my first video on the PBA, we go and create a app registration. So I'm going to create a new app registration. Once again, I'm going to certificate video. I'm going to leave it as a single tenant and no redirect URL. I'm going to register it. So I have actually registered it. The next step is actually uh, upload the certificate that you downloaded so into the application registration. So click on the .cer, the one that you downloaded, 
add it add it to the certificate now the certificate is actually uploaded to the application so the next step is copy this application id and now you have to create an application user in dynamics so the trick to creating it is you need to go into systems and security and users but by default you will be having enabled users so change that into application users because if you try to create a, a application user when the view is enabled user you will actually not be able to create it you'll get this sort of prompt it says that you have to go to office 365 admin portal to create it in order to work around that uh, that's not required for applications user so you need to actually change the view to application users once you do this and click the new button it will allow you to create make sure that the form name is also application user now we are going to simply paste the application id we copied earlier now we can say i'm going to call this again certificate video and then i'm going to call a same certificate video and the email will be set crm.onmicrosoft.com this email does address does not exist but i just have to put this in so that i can save the record i save the record now so now it has saved now i need to assign some role to it just for the sake of uh, the demo i'm going to assign it system customizer role but you don't want to assign system customizer role make sure that you have a, a lesser privilege role unless you want to run this as like a service account in that scenario you need to give it an elevated account but it's always a good idea to create a custom role so that you have a precise control over permissions so but for the purposes of the demo i'm going to give this a system customizer permissions so i have given system customizer permissions all right so next step is we need the certificate thumbprint so i go into key vault again i go into certificate and let me just see the thumbprint so i need to copy the thumbprint because i need that for authenticating so i'm going to copy that so now i'm going to jump into my uh, test application uh, I have a small snippet in uh, link pad here that I have done earlier. So I'm going to copy paste the thumbprint of the certificate. And also I'm going to need the client ID. So the client ID is from here, the application ID of the user. I'm going to copy that. Next, I'm going to paste it in here. So we have the CRM service client that's on the XRM tooling uh, assembly and that uh, connection string is in the form of auth type certificate you have the client ID you have the thumbprint then you have the URL where you want to authenticate it to once the connection is ready I can execute some arbitrary messages okay now I'm gonna run the script on link pad so wait for the script run it says that the system username is certificate video so it was able to successfully connect as the application user using the certificate on your local machine and it retrieved the system user and it got its full name so all without any password so now you know how to actually uh, create azure key vault generate a certificate and store it in azure key vault create an application registration and you import the certificate that you generated and stored in the keyword and use the certificate thumbprint on the uh, CRM connection uh, string um, to actually connect to Dynamics. Uh, so this is a more secure method for actually connecting because you don't really have any password and you can revoke the certificate anytime. So I hope it is actually a useful video. In the next video, I will go through how to actually do the same for Azure functions. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, 
you can follow me on my blog uh, dreaminginsierram.com or uh, on my twitter uh, i'll share both uh, on uh, the end of the video thank you